I'm Chad, and welcome to Virtual Reality, where the majority of today's video will be recorded, if not all of it. If you watched my quick update vlog from last week, you will know that I am starting a new job soon, and this week, I am in between work and just have some free time. So I've been trying to relax and just trying to go ride around a little bit, including in virtual reality, just to have fun, enjoy myself, and also to practice my wheelies. So if you've been with the channel for a while, you may recall that I purchased a 2009 Yamaha WR250X Supermoto last year to learn how to wheelie on. And I put in some good time on that bike. I actually replaced the clutch not that long ago, so it's even better for that now. But I've also started to practice a little bit on the Tuono. Also, excuse the virtual tones of red and orange. Interesting hues and colors today. There is a fire in virtual reality. I don't know if we will encounter it or not. I've been practicing my wheelies over the past year or so. I guess a little bit less than a year. And I thought it might just be fun to go out for a little ride on my Tuono, show the skills that I have acquired on the Supermoto that I have been able to transfer over to the Tuono in this time, and just kind of show you my progress overall, and have some virtual fun and virtual reality doing virtual wheelies. Because we would never do wheelies on the street. The biggest thing that I have learned so far though in my wheelie adventures is how important the rear brake is. I found in the majority of how-to wheelie videos that I've seen over the years, people just talk about covering the rear brake in case something goes wrong, not actively using the rear brake to control the wheelie. So being that I looped my supermoto and fell down and it hurt, I have turned a lot of my focus into learning the rear brake and trying to master it. By no means am I any kind of wheelie expert. I am nowhere even remotely close to that level of wheelie. But I can get the front wheel off the ground and keep it up there for a couple seconds, which is way more than I could do in the seven years that I rode before this year. That is all smoke. That is pretty wild. So my preference for wheelies has been initiating with the clutch. It's really been the best way that I have found to do them on my Supermoto. So naturally that was how I practiced and how I got the most comfortable and how I have practiced doing them on the Tuono. I know that preferences change from person to person just based on how you learn and how you practice, but Again, in my experience, I feel that I am in more control of the initiation of the wheelie with the clutch than just full on using the power. But I can do little baby power wheelies in like first gear. Nothing crazy though. There you go, little first gear. And then of course we've got the clutch up. My focus has been trying to not twitch my wrist as much as use the rear brake. Because I am a firm believer that the rear brake is essential to good wheelie control. Now of course, I'm still a noob, so making my mistakes and trying to implement changes as often as possible to get better at this and the virtual landscape. maybe a foot off the ground but still a lot of fun still working on my virtual simulator calibrations to get the front wheel higher still fun for now
And with that, I think we are going to bring this virtual wheelie update to a close. So, fellow rider, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a gentle little click of the like button and consider subscribing for more motorcycling content in a virtual computer simulation where there are no repercussions to doing wheelies. Drop a comment below. Have you practiced your virtual wheelies lately and are you improving? Let me know, comments below. Thanks again so much for watching. I sincerely hope you enjoyed this video and I will hope to catch you in the next one. Until then, later.